Hey MHS, I'm Emma and I'm sitting here with Tori and Dom and we just wanted to start off with the first news of the year. So things are going to be a little different here. We're going to have less of the announcements going around school. We're going to have some more cool videos that we're putting together. Some interviews. Lots of interviews. So uh, just to kick things off for the year, here's a quick little video that our video productions team has put together. Speaking of sweets, Nathan made a video with Miss Morin talking about brownies. How are we doing, Woolies? I'm here with Miss Morin, and we got a few questions for her about brownies today. So, Miss Morin, what is the trick to a good brownie? The trick to a good brownie is to not overmix the batter and to use the right amount of leavening agents, and a little extra chocolate never hurts either. I love chocolate. So, um, let's see, what else? How long does it typically take for a good brownie to bake? Well, it really depends on the size of the pan, but today we're doing an 8 by 12 pan, and it's going to take about 25 to 30 minutes to cook. Not bad. I can wait about a half hour. <laughs> um, I'd like to talk to some of the head chefs over here. So, thank you, Miss Morin. We got Ethan Bichard over here. He's going to tell us how we make good brownies. So, what did you do here? A uh, good brownie requires you mix the batter perfectly, always fold over the top, um, mm -hmm. always make sure your measurements are correct, use a technique that Miss um, Miss Warren taught us about, it's called mise en place, put them in little cups, mise pour them all in at one time, it's very, very effective. Yeah. Very good, so how are your brownies looking? They're looking pretty good, not just ready yet, but um, I'll update you soon. Okay, yeah, sounds good, we'll be back with Ethan's brownies. Okay, the brownies are done. Take them out, Ethan. Oh. Oh, those look delicious. All right, I'm back here with the brownie king, Ethan. I'm going to ask him a few questions. So, how did they come out? The brownies came out very good, really soft, um, crispy top, real fudgy on the inside. Good. Good, I'm glad to hear. But... You didn't save me any. <laughs> well, it's kind of hard when you only have four and there's a whole class of animals trying to eat them, so. Very true, very true. After all that hard work, are you going to remember this recipe? Probably. I'm just going to ask Miss Morton to send me them because they were so good. I'm going to have to have them again. There you go. All right. I'm glad to hear that they turned out good. We'll see you later. Wow, I think I'll have to try that recipe. Me too. So Dom has a couple things to say about the MHS Athletics. So I'm here with Sydney Moore and Emma Romeo, two senior volleyball players, and uh, they're going to tell us a little bit about their season so far. So overall, how has the success of your season gone so far? Um, it's It's been pretty good. Our record right now is 6-6. Six and six. Well, um, We have a lot of injured players, so it's kind of tough, but we're getting through it. All right, so have there been any younger, maybe like younger players that have stepped up big for the injured players so far? Um, Allie Pine, definitely. Yeah, definitely Allie Pine. Yeah. Nice. So what have some of the focal points been on your uh, team so far? Some people that may have stepped up big or helped you guys win games? Uh, Lauren Kelly, she's really like stepped it up a little bit. Um, Elysian Berenson. Yeah. Nice. So uh, do you guys have any big games or anything coming up or something to be excited for? Uh, our senior night is this Friday against Bartlett, so everyone should come watch. Yep, be there. Uh, how do you guys think that game's going to go for you? I think we'll win. Let's just say okay, that. I don't want to say anything. I feel like we're going to jinx it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. Uh, so uh, good luck to the volleyball players. Uh, hopefully they win at their senior night this Friday against Bartlett. And football also has a game Friday night. Big game against Leicester could uh, mean a lot towards playoffs. Uh, coming up, we have a trailer for a really exciting video that we're going to put out for you guys.
week with even better videos. Have a, Have a great day, 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 day. day. Oh, We're leaving. Okay. It's just